A common pool shot involves hitting a ball into a pocket from an angle. Shown below, the cue ball hits a stationary ball at an angle of 45 degrees, such that it goes into a corner pocket at 2 meters per second. Both have a mass of 0.5 kilograms, and the cue ball is traveling at 4, point, uh, 4 meters per second before the collision. Recalling that the collision is elastic, calculate the angle the cue ball is deflected by the collision. So everything I, we know, I've written down already. So our initial momentum of the stationary ball is zero. Our initial uh, momentum of our cue ball is the mass times the velocity, so 0.5 times 4, so 2. And they both have a mass of 0.5 kilograms. So our momentum before and after needs to be the same. So, to and to find everything, we know that this right here, our stationary ball, goes at 2 meters per second at 45 degrees. So, to find our x and y, we take our 2 meters per second by sine and cos. So x is equal to the cos sine of 45 times 2. Sorry. 2. And our y is equal to sine 45 times 2. And since it's a 45 degree angle, our answer will be the same for both and is 1.4142. And since this is in our final answer, we want to keep some extra sig figs for a while. And those are both meters per second along our x and y. So the so meters per second, meters per second. So now, we know, since we know that before and after is equal, and we have everything we need to find our cue balls, x and y's, because we know that horizontally, our initial momentum is 2, right here. And that is equal to the momentum of C and the momentum of D. Not momentum type. Well, the other one. So we need the mass of C times Cx plus the mass of C, sorry, B times 1.4142. So, 1.412, 4142 times 0.5 gives us 0 0.7071. Now we want to get this over on to this side with the 2 to try to isolate our unknown. So 2 minus 0 0.7071 is equal to 1.2929. So now that is equal to 0 0.5 times Cx. And again, to get rid of the 0.5 and have c by itself, we divide both sides by 0 0.5. So we take 0, ah, sorry, 1.2929 and divide that by 0 0.5. 0 0.5. And that gives us a horizontal momentum of. Two point five eight five 
Great. So then I'll put this over here. And now I'm here to this, so I have a little bit more room again. And now we want to do the same thing, only with our vertical. So to start, we have zero vertical momentum. And again, it's equal to the mass of C and Cy plus the mass of B by 1.4142. So again, we want to isolate Cy. So 0 to 0 0.5 times Cy plus Point five times one point four one four two is equal to zero point seven zero oh seven one, and we're going to subtract that from both sides. So So then now we'll have negative 0 0.7071 is equal to 0 0.5 times Cy. And we'll divide both sides by 0 0.5 again. And that will give us 1 point, well, negative. 1.4142, but this can't be a negative, so then it just becomes 1.4142. So I'll put this over here. And erase all this again. So now we know both the x and y of our cue ball after the collision. So we'll have our x is east and our y is south. So then we'll take that and that. So x 2.5858 and our y is 1.4142. Now, with these two values, we'll use tan inverse to find our missing angle, which is, I guess this should actually be on this side, my bad. Which this angle right here. Beta. So we want to take and use uh, tan inverse to find this angle. So that will be using, we'll take 1.4142 divided by 2.5858 is equal to and now we want to find the inverse of our answer, which is 31.155. Uh, so using correct sig figs, it will be 31.155. Now, using 
correct sig figs, the angle will be 33 degrees. I'll move this over a little. Okay, and now finally we use Pythagorean theorem with our two values, which is a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, to find our last side. So again, we need this triangle. So we'll have our 2.5858 on top and 1.4142 on the side. And we'll square both of these numbers to have now we want the 2.5858 squared plus 1.4142 squared sorry made a small mistake squared equals plus 1.4142 squared equals and that will give us our c squared is equal to 8 Point six eight six three, and now to find c we just square root all of this and that gives us sorry c is equal to 2.947 but with only two sig figs it will be 2.9. So C is our velocity and this is our angle. So that means that after the collision, the cue ball will go will deflect at 2.9 meters per second east, 33 degrees south. And that is all.